Hi guys, welcome out to Noonan, Georgia, a new exciting area that I haven't previewed in quite a long time and uh, I gotta tell you, I'm pretty darn excited about it. And I think you will be too. As you can see, these are no joke. They basically sit on at least an acre of land, which is really, really hard to find in greater Atlanta. And it's not going to cost you a million dollars. It's not going to cost you 600. It's not even going to cost you 500. They're going to range from the 300s to the 400s, which is absolutely incredible for greater Atlanta. And you're saying, how are they doing it, Mark? It's got to be in a bad school district or it's got to be something wrong with it. It's not. It's one of the top school districts in greater Atlanta. Now, it is going to put you much further out of Atlanta than maybe some of you would want to. But for some others, they're looking to get away from the city and they just want to go into the city maybe once a week, twice a week, a couple times a month. Because their life, you, you know, where you build your life, where you build your house is where you set your life up. There's going to be shopping. They said there's a world-class shopping area about 15 minutes from here. It's about 35 minutes to the airport. It's about 45 to 50 minutes from downtown Atlanta. It is, again, sitting on uh, acre and sometimes acre plus. Look at this, guys. Three-car garage, side entry. I mean, do you have any problems, you think? getting uh, enough cars here when you have guests over, if it's you and your family. It is an HOA, so there's going to be a swimming pool in the community. They're going to maintain the front entrance. They're going to make sure that nobody is, like, you know, painting their house neon, green, or pink to bring down the property values or setting up barbed wire or anything like that. It is family good living. And that's what you're getting here for an amazing price. Now, this is going to be the first time I'm looking at their Oakwood model. This one, I have to confirm if it's available. I think she said it just went under contract. And this one was priced at $4.45 pretty much. Um, and if the contract falls through, you might be able to jump on this one. But if not, you'll be able to build it, which means you'll be able to go to a design center and pick absolutely, you know, the color schemes, the cabinets, all those type of things that you want. But look at this. This is your front yard. Look at all this land. Look at the trees. Look at the um, landscaping that they give you. Of course, you could build, you know, vegetable gardens and flower gardens and... Uh, this is going to be absolutely gorgeous. On this one, it has a lot of brick out in the front, covered front porch, boxed windows over there over the um, garage. Here's your front porch. Just imagine sitting. This is where I, you'd be sitting. Maybe one of those um, hanging swings or well, this little bench. You can see how it's so quiet and peaceful and you're not right on the street. So let's go take a look. I'm super excited to see this one. Wow. <laughs> Talk about dramatic. All right. Let's see what we got here. I don't think I don't see if they have electricity in certain rooms. Yeah, this is still kind of under construction. So when you first come in, you have this gigantic, beautiful um, foyer area. In addition, they look at this beautiful archway cut out with a recessed lighting above. So this will look amazing with like a statue or big console table, mirror, artwork. You have a piece of artwork that you just haven't known where um, you might want to hang it. I mean, this is just going to be a great location. It's a nice size wall too. Over here to the right, you'll have coffered ceilings with the um, chair rail going about quarter way up the window. Just love the angle of this. And to be able to overlook your front um, patio is amazing. Over here to the left when you come in, look at this, guys. This is like a, almost like a keeping room, I would say. It's just stunning. Um, looks like they have electricity in this room. So notice the high vaulted ceilings. And these are going to start about, if you want to build from the ground up, about 408 to about 411. And then you pretty much add maybe like 45 to 60,000 depending on the lot, the floor plan, 
to the basement. So it's still going to keep you right around that 440s to 460s range. This would be incredible. This one's anchored by two big windows on each side. This one's showing at the stack stone. When you go to the design center, you could pick just a you know, regular mantle, white mantle, or upgrade to that stack stone. A little inlet here. This will make for a great home office or library conversation room. Just really, really beautiful. I shut the door behind me. Um, and then over here, this is still your foyer. Look how open it is. I mean, either keep it open, beautiful mirrors on this wall, console table would look really, really beautiful. Over here is your family room. So you can see it has the uh, columns. Um, it has the fireplace over in on, off the end there. That's the keeping room. So this will be your formal, you know, um, fa family room. So think about putting a TV. Uh, I've seen some amazing, amazing like in wall fireplace units. Get somebody to come in after the fact, cut it out for you because it's just the drywall behind there. You already have an electric outlet that would look amazing in this room. You have the trim work above. And then you enter into kitchenette and keeping room area. Now look at the size of this kitchen. Look at the size of this island, right? No problem, no problem at all. Fitting four to five stools. This one, um, what you see, because I've been very familiar with this builder myself, is what you get. So you will get the sink. Um, you'll be able to choose between this, the double-sided one or just the one big kind of farmer style sink. Um, you'll have the faucet here. These come standard guys, double ovens. You could also do the microwave in one single um, stove, which is becoming very, very popular as well. Um, here's the microwave. Again, comes standard. If you wanted to upgrade to like a vent hood above it and then putting the microwave over here, you can do that as well. Love the contrast between this kind of off-white antique style white with the modern gray um, glossy subway tile. This is where your four or five burner gas cooktop will go. And then this beautiful keeping room, you know, so if you wanted to make, you know, that your TV room, you can, but also if you wanted to make this, this is this, what's called a keeping room. And you see, it's already set up, it has a stack stone fireplace. It has the, um, plasma TV set up right above it. Hardwoods are continuing throughout. We'll see if we can get you on a standing inventory. We have a really, really strong chance of getting you blinds and a refrigerator and some additional closing costs. When you build from the ground up, you know, we'll see what we can get thrown in. But um, just from experience, it's going to be less likely to get those things. But, you know, I'm always going to be your biggest advocate and try to get it for you for sure. Let's take a look while we're over here of the backyard and the back porch area. So over here you have um, concrete patio. You could also do it enclosed like the house next door. And this is also an upgrade allowance too. So if you wanted to add this outdoor fireplace, they give you those um, brick pavers and brick walkways to it, which is absolutely gorgeous. And I think that only range like, I think it's like maybe $4,000, maybe $3,800 for if you want to do the fire pit instead of the fireplace. Um, you could do covered patios, you can do enclosed patios, and here is the uh, back side of the house on this one. And of course, you can um, fence it in if you want. Just rained overnight, so it's a little bit soggy, but you can see it's beautiful wooded lots and uh, just an amazing, amazing piece of land and just a gorgeous product. Again, this is the Oakwood, so when you call me up or shoot me a DM, and say, hey, Mark, I want to come and take a look at that community down there in Noonan with the brand new homes. And I want to see whatever, because I'm going to do a tapings of, I think, four or five, maybe even six floor plans down here. I already did two. So this is my third one. And this is super, super impressive. In addition to this kitchen area, you have a walk-in pantry. Now, this is beautiful. You have one, two, three, four pantry uh, um, uh, shelves and then another four on that wall. As you can see, it's not just a camera. I am actually walking in it. And so it's very, very spacious. In addition, you're gonna get the three car garage. You got that one over here on this side. It's a little dark right now, but uh, 
that's one, and then you have the two car. And we'll see if we can get you. It's already wired for your garage door opener. Again, if it's standing inventory, there's a good chance that I'm gonna be able to save you, I think they range about 350 bucks. So for two of them, that's gonna save you about 700 bucks for a standing inventory. All right, let's see. Over here we have a full, no, a um, half bath. Powder room, no light bulbs in yet on here, but you can see granite countertops, toilet, same cabinetry. Over here you have like a little uh, dry bar area. Um, again, with the gray subway tile leading back to the dining room. I love the kind of angles of this house. It's got a lot of things that people want. It's got the edges, the corners, the columns, the trim work. Again, this is your front entrance. Just beautiful. All right, let's start looking at some bedrooms. I believe this is the um, downstairs bedroom. I don't, I don't, this might be the master actually. I think this one, let's see. I don't know if this is the one that has the master on the main. It looks pretty gigantic. So let's assume at this point, we'll see you when we look upstairs, but this is a very big room. As you can see at the double windows and then it has like a little inlet here for like a little sitting area. Definitely good for the California King, I would say along this wall no problem you could put like a little dresser stand-up dresser along this wall put your tv on this wall and then still have like a little couple chairs and a table it would look really really nice over there here is the bathroom stand-up shower i'm thinking that this might be a secondary bedroom but we'll see um, cause I don't see the, the tub that usually comes with the shower. So if this is an actual secondary, like master suite and you're going to have two, that's going to be pretty amazing. Cause you have the one sink here. That's what I'm thinking. Um, got the fully tiled shower and then a huge walk-in closet. So there's a light in here. Yep. Walks all the way around. This is huge. Water closet. So that's one bedroom that we saw. Yeah, I don't think that's the master, which is gonna be, this is a pretty gigantic house. All right, let's go find, I think the stairway is over here. Love that wall of windows. Hardwoods up the staircase, the risers on the landing as well. Whoa, at the top of the stairs, you have a step up media room. Love that. Double doors. Very, very nice. Put your TV over here. You could also do like a pool table, that kind of vibe too. If you build this on a basement, like I said, you're probably gonna be in that 450s range, which would be gigantic. Um, but if you don't need a basement, like I said, it's gonna keep you probably around that 410, maybe with some upgrades, 420 mark. Bedroom number two. Love the little entranceway, love the light. Got the light over here. I would say a queen size bed gives you no problems at all. Again, look at that beautiful fireplace outside, the covered patio, enclosed uh, porch. All right, let's head into the Jack and Jill bathroom. So you have a cultured marble, the off-white, walk-in closet, separation here, transom window, tub, shower combo, toilet, Doorways to give you privacy. Of course, they'll have locks on it. So this is great if you have a teenager or somebody that wants their own wing of the house. They could almost make this a sitting room too. But it's actually bedroom number three. Again, give you a quick view outside. Love those trees. The wrought iron throughout. Look at that entranceway, right? Beautiful. Bedroom number four. This one is gonna have its own bathroom, as you can see. Look at all that light. King size or queen size bed in here. And the view out the front. Beautiful. Got about 30 seconds left, so I gotta get to the master. Full bath. Full closet. Washroom, big. All right, the master, gigantic, wow. Huge wall of windows. Sitting room off of it, that's where your master bed would be. Put your TV on that wall, sitting area. 
double doors heading into your master bath. No uh, lights in here, but soaking tub, shower, sink, closet. All right, guys, hit us up. Let's go take a look.